Good morning guys, welcome back or to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at another truck. But as you can see, starting this video off here in my office, because this has been a little project that I've had going on for the last couple of days, is getting this over here cleaned out. Um, so this is where I'm gonna start doing headlights and taillights and custom lighting. So, got all this stuff, stuff everywhere. Um, Got the headliner there for the six liter. That's been out for a couple weeks now, but this office is a mess. So I have my computer set up right here and I don't know what it's doing. So here in a second, we're gonna look at this truck and I'm gonna show y'all um, what it looks like. And we might just, we might just buy it. Alrighty guys, so I went ahead and uh, I checked the truck on Copart. I'm in town right now, it's raining. But anyway, I went ahead and bought the truck. That was a couple hours ago. So I went ahead and paid the buy it now on the truck. Just get that done out of the way. So uh, in the morning, I'm gonna go to the bank and grab a cashier's check. I'm gonna run to Conway. The truck is in Fayetteville. I'm gonna run to Conway, pay for it. That way there's not a late fee or whatever. Um, so I'm running to Conway in the morning pay that get that done out of the way and then probably sunday we'll go pick up the trailer and go pick up the truck on monday all righty guys so it is now monday we're about to go pick up the truck you can see back there we got the trailer uh, we got the impact and some tools for the trailer um, that way if we have a flat or whatever Got a spare in the bed, got a handyman jack in the bed. So we're gonna run up there. We gotta stop by the bank, get some money to pay their storage fees for leaving it there over the weekend. And uh, we'll head that way. All right, guys, so after a couple hours, it's now, I think it's like 12, 30, 1 o'clock. Uh, we have made it here to Copart. As you can see, it's raining. So we're going to run the paperwork in here, take that to them, have them bring it out and get it strapped up and everything. Now, I was going to bring tools to take the front bumper off of the truck, but I forgot. So we might stop somewhere between here or there and grab uh, maybe like just a crescent wrench is all I need to take the bumper off. We'll pull that bumper off. Uh, that way we can get the truck a little more further forward. Um, if I remember correctly, last time we hauled the green F-150 that I bought from Copart. It's a little too um, light on the nose. So I'm going to have to pull the bumper off because this trailer has that winch on the front of it. But we'll just have to see how that works out. All right, guys. So we got loaded up, all strapped up and everything. We're ready to go. And um, I'll probably give y'all a better walk around. When we get back to the house, so we're trying to get back kind of quickly, but this is a 99 F-150 Larry. It's a pretty nice truck. Um, the loader did this and that, but all in all, very straight truck. New tires on it. Got uh, some damage here. A little bit of rust on the other side. But this truck is from Nebraska, actually. And it's got a clean title. So, a little rust there. A little rust here. And that's about it. But we'll look over it all when we get back to the house. All right, guys. So the first fuel stop here. Everything is looking good back there. I uh, just checked the straps. All the straps are good. The chain's good in the back. So we're good to go. Um, my grandpa running here gets some stuff to drink. And then we're going to head back to the house. And hopefully by then, let's see what time it is now. 
we're a little bit away from Copart, but it is 1.53. So we'll see what time we get back. Um, it should be somewhere maybe around four. I think it's two and a half hours back that way if we don't hit any traffic. So I'll see y'all when we get back to the house and hopefully we can start this thing up because it is supposed to be a run and drive. Clean title truck. It does have a clean title, I know that. But the run and drive stuff, I'm not too sure about because we didn't get to start it. The battery's dead. So when we get home, we'll jump it off and uh, maybe even take it on a test drive. All right, guys, so we just got the truck unloaded back there. There you go. So I'm going to turn the truck and trailer around. We're going to jump it off, see if we can take it for a test drive. Alrighty guys, so I pulled the truck up here to the house, you can't really see it, but pulled the truck up here to the house, uh, no mirror, standard stuff, Got a mirror there, that thing fell out, it's over there, but it's, uh, it's sitting here running, so it started up pretty easy after we hooked jumper cables to it, but I'm going to let it sit right here, run a little bit. See if it'll charge the battery up. Uh -huh. <laughs> there it is. No, it needs a good bath, obviously. But it's a pretty nice looking truck. Um, check the oil is good. Got a dent right here. Some small stuff. Nothing too major. I showed y'all a little bit of rust down here. This is a four-door unlike the white truck um that's kind of weird this is as far as back as the seat goes the white truck is definitely a little different white truck goes back a little further but power front seat it does work no exhaust truck sounds pretty decent come with a free gas can and a spare tire over there but all in all pretty nice looking truck got some damage down there i think i already showed you all that but pretty pretty nice so they did have some subs under the back seat which are gone but it'll be pre-wired for the next guy or at least speakers anyway. Alpine radio with whatever that's supposed to do. Probably for Android, but there it is. So, pretty nice. Uh, not a bad looking truck. So, I'm gonna let it sit here, like I said, idle a little bit. See if it'll charge that battery up. And then we'll come back, do a little test drive. I just seen, uh, Two cops go up that way <laughs> so being as it doesn't have insurance we're probably not going to do that right now we're going to let them do what they're going to do well guys so we've uh, let the truck sit out here probably hmm, five ten minutes uh, at least probably more along the lines of 20 and we're not overheating so that's a good thing shows that the battery is charging full of fuel so, we're uh, looking pretty good here. So, I'm going to uh, shut it off here in a minute and see if it'll start back. But, there's some couple things I want to get to working on this truck. I don't know if I showed y'all or not, but the odometer doesn't actually work. So, that's a thing. Um, but, this truck is a clean title. And Ben, it's, it's a Nebraska truck. It doesn't have very much rust. So I'm gonna say probably not a whole lot of miles. Um, last time the oil's changed, 2017. So I don't know. Well, uh, I'm gonna do some investigating on it and see if I can figure anything out. But it does say dealer. 
on the back window over here. So, kind of interesting, but we'll figure it out. And also the uh, the door jar light won't go off. So that light there won't go off. We'll figure that out as well. Hopefully, if not, <laughs> it's this why it's killing the battery because the uh, dome lights won't go off and all this stuff. So we'll uh, figure that out. I should turn the dome light off and it doesn't. But I'll go through here, look at everything, see what we can figure out. All right, guys, so I shut it off uh, and the dome light immediately went off. So that tells me this battery is no good. So if can, turn it nothing so honestly this battery is super shot so we're gonna have to get another battery or charge this one but anyway that's the truck so we're gonna have to get a battery um it is quite dirty but we'll fix that up um but all in all if we're being honest here it's pretty nice um Got some bunch of weird decals and stuff on it. And this, that's a road, this is a common thing. So it's come off a lot, but it's got a bunch of decals on it. It's got to come off. That's a that's some cool part. I'll get that off. But all in all. Pretty good looking truck. Um, dent the bumper, more decals. I don't quite know if this might have been a like a college kid, maybe. I don't know. But that's the truck. So the um, little holes here, kind of everywhere. Might pull this bed liner out. Um, the tailgate doesn't open. All four doors open, which normally they don't, but the tailgate does not. I don't know. Maybe it's locked. Okay. Turn it the other way. So, the white truck does that. The red truck is starting to do that. So, that'll be a whole video on its own. But, again, I just thought I'd show you all the truck. So, here it is. Um, again, 99 F-150, two-wheel drive, Lariat, 4.6, black and gold. I kind of like the black and gold. Um, to be honest, this bed has been repainted, or it's a different bed or something, because Ford, uses that very wide pinstriping and this doesn't have it on this side at least sorry for the airplanes okay so i guess that side over there has been repainted but this side still has it so but i don't know pretty nice looking truck um it needs a good cleaning for sure but these seats are actually pretty nice. Uh, again, all the all the doors work. These should flip up. Yep, just like the factory. There's some change there. So you kind of pay for the truck. <laughs> but we'll uh, we'll get this thing looking good. The roof is. Obviously dirty, no one seems to wash the roof of their vehicles. But, all in all, nice truck. You know, needs some work. But, we're gonna, we're gonna get this thing looking nice. But, first things first, we're gonna have to clean this thing. Get that black paint shining. And then, we can see what it really needs and was it, what it doesn't. But, Anyways, guys, that's going to be all for today's video. So, if you enjoyed today's video, please drop a like and comment down below. 
smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope everybody has a wonderful day.